It probably seems like deja vu, but here we are again on New York City basketball's biggest stage. And it's no surprise that Christ the King and Bishop Lachlan squared off in this year's Catholic High School City Championship. The atmosphere was intense Sunday at Fordham University, and when the dust settled, the Christ the King Royals came away with a 72-61 win over Bishop Lachlan. The game was tied with three and a half minutes to play, but the Royals' defense stepped up late, helping Christ the King capture its second straight city championship and its fourth title in the last five years. You know, we went zone, we mixed it up, we went man zone, man zone. I thought they got a little confused. They took some ill-advised shots and we, we were able to rebound the basketball and, you know, get some scores on the other end. Sophomore forward Raleigh Alkins paced the Royals with a game-high 24 points and hit a huge three-pointer late in the fourth quarter. I live for clutch moments, man. I, every time I, every time in the timeout when close game, I ask for the ball all the time for my coach. I'm lost for words, man. I don't know what to say. I've just, I just felt so good about this game. Junior forward Travis Atson earned playoff MVP honors with a double-double of 21 points and 10 rebounds in the championship game. This is a great feeling. I can't explain it. It's just amazing. I mean, our seniors, they, they picked it up for us. Andre Walker, Brother Page, Don Rosa. They, they wanted to get a state. They wanted to win the state champion for their senior year. And they held us through it. These teams met two weeks ago in the Brooklyn Queens Championship. And while Bishop Lachlan won the diocesan title, Bryce the King emerged victorious in the city title game. The Lions won the Diocesan Championship by 19 points, but this time around, the Royals were ready right from the start. I don't think we were focused enough for the Brooklyn Kings. We thought we were just going to win it. It'll be easy, but now we were definitely focused. They wasn't going to blow us out again. I'm not going to lie to you. They took, I guess you could say they took our heart. They, they beat us by 20 on the championship game, and like we basically quit. I felt like, I felt like we just wasn't having that tonight. This year's title game adds yet another chapter to the historic rivalry between these two basketball powerhouses. Those are probably like the best games of my high school career. Every locker room game, I, I just feel like those games are, are, are what people remember for the rest of their lives. I'm going to go on to college next year, but it, I, I know for the rest of my life I'm going to talk about the Christ the King locker room. Games. We knew this game was going to be tough. We had to make some adjustments. We made them together as a team, and, and that's the benefit of it. Christ the King will have two weeks to prepare for the upcoming State Federation Tournament, which tips off March 21st in Albany. The Royals enter the tournament as the defending champions. Reporting for Currents, I'm Jim Mancari.